Rich DeMuro here, Rich on Tech. Welcome back to the show. As you can tell, I am inside somewhere. I'm inside Burbank Sports Cards, and I'm here with Ted Mann, the co-founder of Collex. This is an app that I dreamed of having as a kid. It's an app that lets you scan your cards, your baseball cards, football cards, hockey cards, whatever, and then see what the value of those cards are and some other features. So Ted, uh, thanks for joining me. Thanks for having me on, Rich. So we're inside this uh, baseball card shop, or I guess card store. Um, it's incredible. It's bringing me back to my childhood when I ripped open those card packs and you know had a little collection. I was never too serious, but many people are. Um, so first off, just tell me kind of the idea behind baseball card collecting or card collecting. Well, I think for you know for a lot of people, like cards are the first time you really experience um, doing a deal, making money, right? Trying to figure out what these th what these things are valuable or not. Um, and I started to see that in my own son. I have a 10 year old son named Charlie who got really into cards over the pandemic. And just like me when I was his age, like it became quickly graduated from being like a hobby, you know, something I was like interested in the pretty pictures on the cards to like really being serious about, I want to be able to find, you know, the most valuable cards. I want to be able to flip cards. I want to find cards and sell them to my friends, do deals. Um, and so I started to see that with him. And I think that that's how a lot of people kind of are with this hobby is it becomes, go, graduates from like a passion into a, something of an obsession. And, um, you know, I have my own son to thank for bringing me back into that. And it's now become something that we get to do together. Tell me about coming up with this app. What made you create it? So Charlie was having a lot of the same problems that I had when he got into cards, um, which was he couldn't figure out what his cards were worth. Um, he was Googling and getting crazy numbers and he would frequently do a deal at school and um, feel badly about it, right? He'd do a dumb deal. And then he would come to me and say, Dad, can you help me get my card back? And uh, this happened multiple occasions. And I did the exact same thing with him that my dad did with me, which is like, I'm not going to unwind that trade. I'm not going to, it's like, not gonna like no I can't back. swoop in and kind of fix this. Yeah. As much as I'd like to, like, I'm just going to teach you to figure out what your cards are worth so you don't make stupid trades in the future. And, um, and so I set about trying to help Charlie with that. Uh, at first I bought him a Beckett guide. You ever, you oh, know, of course I remember. I remember as a kid, like looking in the tiny numbers, the Beckett guide would have a price on every card. So you could yeah. go through and look it up. Um, but nowadays, there's so many cards out there. Um, uh, we'll talk more about the Collect 7 in a sec, but like we have 20 million cards that we track. So that's a lot. So that's a pretty big phone book. And Charlie, the minute I gave him that, that Beckett guide, he was like, Dad, like this is, this is not fun. <laughs> this is too much work. So then we went on the internet and I tried to, we tried to find apps, we tried to find websites that would give us an answer. Um, and honestly, the best answers we got came from eBay. Um, because that's where most people buy and sell cards these days. But even on eBay, it was a lot to sort through. And so um, Charlie would come and ask me for help with this every day. And finally, like so many, I think, <laughs> inventions that uh, or startups that get founded, I just got so frustrated that I wanted to have a better, easier way to do it. So I made, uh, made a little tool for Charlie to help him figure out the price of his cards. And that's what gave birth to the, the idea for Collects. So Collects is an app that lets you scan the card it kind of pulls the, um, you know, the prices across various platforms and then comes up with a number and assigns that value to your card. Yeah, that's right. So we have, um, we have about 20 million cards that we can match the images to, right? So you take a picture and we use a technology called um, computer vision or visual search to match the cards. Um, similar to like, you know, if you hear about like facial recognition, you know, it's sort of like the same idea, except in this case, we're just matching a reference image of a card to the picture you've just taken. And um, it, it, the technology works really well for that purpose. Um, so we can match with, with a very high degree of accuracy and say, okay, this card matches to this other card. Once we match it to the card, then you can see what, what's the current average price. We average all of the most recent sales on eBay and other sites to calculate that. Um, so we'll give you the average price. And then we can also tell you, you know, what would the card be worth if you, if you wanted to sell it or if you wanted to grade it. Um, if you wanted to send it off to a professional grading service, what would that do to the value of the card? Um, so that's basically how it works, yeah. And of course, you can build your collection inside the app. You can see how much your entire collection is worth, and you can buy, sell, and trade with other people inside the app. How has the app been doing? Well, so all of that stuff you just mentioned, that all kind of came probably after you and I first talked. Um, so when we first launched the app, it was just a pure utility. Just take a picture of the card, 
get the value, build your collection, right? That was the sort of the initial kind of like, um, maybe not an MVP, but the, the initial version of, of collects. And then what we started to see happening was people were building really big collections. Um, the average user on the app will add about 200 cards to their collection, but we have a ton of users that have thousands, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of cards. Um, so, yes, yeah, so we started to see these people building massive collections, and then the really cool thing is they started to reach out to one another. So, like, you know, your friend might have somebody else that would reach out to them and say, hey, I really like your Jerry Rice card. I want to buy that from you. Would you take 20 bucks for it? And so they started doing these deals, and we started to see that happening organically. It was honestly, like, probably not the best experience because they were just doing it all through private messaging in the app. We have a messaging feature. But, but we, you know, luckily, like, laid enough of the groundwork that it was all possible. And so we started to look at how many cards were getting sold through the app. And um, over the last five months, we've seen $50 million worth of cards sold on the Collects app. So people are actually doing some pretty big deals here. I mean, it's, you know, this isn't eBay yet, but it's, it's definitely like a cool place to be able to, you know, buy or sell or do a trade. So we're talking with Ted Mann, uh, co-founder of Collects, an app that lets you scan your baseball cards, see their value, and also uh, there's a lot of social aspects, aspects to this app as well. You can buy, sell, and trade with different people uh, that are using the app. How do you think this differentiates from just, say, scanning a card with, like, Google Lens or just putting the card into eBay? Sure. Well, I mean, you know, a bunch of other uh, platforms exist where you can go and you can, do, you can buy or sell a card. Um, I think what makes Collects different than, like, say, an eBay is it's a social experience, right, where you can find the other collectors. You can see what they've got. You can see if what your shared interests are. So if you both collect the Dodgers, right, we can help surface those cards front and center to make it a little bit easier to find the cards that you would want to be able to purchase from that person or do a deal with. So in that sense, it's like, you know, I think it's, it is different from other social marketplaces. Plus, we have the utility of being able to scan the card and match it. So a Google Lens doesn't really do that per se. Google Lens will allow you to match to images on the internet, but none of what Google does is tied to any kind of what we call canonical data. It's not tied to the actual like checklist of the cards versus collects where we're actually going to match it to that exact record so that you get the pricing reliably. What types of cards do you support? So we started with just a few sports, um, like football, baseball, basketball, but now we have like hockey, wrestling. Uh, we have all the trading card games like Pokemon, Magic, Yu-Gi-Oh!, and we're going to be adding a bunch more sports. Like we have a lot of demand for racing cards um, and MMA and, and things like that. So we'll be uh, Garbage Pail Kids was a passion of mine when I was a kid. Uh, so we'll be adding those other categories in the, in the coming months. I had kept my original Series 1 Garbage Pail Kids for many years. I came home from college one year, and my brother had taken all the stickers off and put them on my wall. Oh, no, no, <laughs> yeah. The Series 1 garbage kids are worth a ton now. Uh, I, I, that, that's, I'm trying not to look up the yeah, values anymore no. because I don't want to know. The idea of baseball card collecting, we live in such a high-tech society. Everything's digital. These cards are physical, but you're kind of bridging that physical and digital world. So do you think this kind of changes the marketplace? I mean, I think just being able to have your cards in, like, you know, in a digital collection, whether or not, we're, we're not actually like turning them into NFTs or anything like that, but just being able to like track the value of your cards over time to know when they're going up and down in value, to have other people be able to kind of like make an offer when a card is spiking or dropping in value. I think that's pretty cool, right? And that's that's a thing, like you said, like I, I mean, I don't even think I could have like comprehended the idea of like smartphones, much less like collects when I was a kid. But um, the fact that you can do it now, I think it is really a, a cool way to advance the hobby. But I don't think it, it obviates the need to still have those physical cards because actually being able to show cards to your friends, you know, in the physical world, I think is still so cool and such a such a neat part of the whole experience of collecting. All right. Thanks so much for joining me. How do folks find the app? So Collects app is free. It's in the uh, iOS app store um, as well as Google Play. Um, we are going to be coming out with a web version uh, pretty soon as well. Um, so just go download the app and uh, hopefully give it five stars. All right, Ted Mann of Collects, thanks so much for joining me. If you want to learn more about the app, you can find a link on my website. Just go to richontech.tv. More of Rich on Tech coming up after this.